Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Trump takes steps to remove an Obama contribution to the Oval Office. By Fred Maxwell. When President elect Donald Trump takes office following his inauguration, the President of the United States will once again be greeted by the bust of William Churchill upon entering the Oval Office. The bust, which had been placed in the Oval Office in 2001 by incoming President George W. Bush, was removed by President Obama upon taking office in 2009. The British newspaper The Sun reported that Foreign Press Secretary Boris Johnson was asked by Trump advisers if the bust could be returned to its former place of prominence. Johnson was meeting with Jared Kushner and Steve Bannon in New York City when the request was made. A spokesperson for Britain Prime Minister Theresa May relayed May's willingness to accommodate the president-elect with the loan. The Prime Minister is happy to loan the Churchill bust to the White House and will be delighted to view it on display when she visits this spring, reported the spokesperson. Obama was criticized for his decision to remove the bust and replace it with a bust of Dr. Martin Luther King. Johnson, then the mayor of London, ruffled feathers last April when he criticized Obama in an op-ed article for removing the bust of Churchill. Johnson said the bust was removed because it served as a symbol of the part Kenyan president's ancestral dislike of the British Empire, of which Churchill had been such a fervent defender. Obama responded to Johnson's remarks during a joint press conference with former David Cameron, who was prime minister at the time. I love Winston Churchill. I love the guy, Obama said. The president said he moved the bust of Churchill to his private office on the second floor of the White House where it rests outside the door. It was placed there so that he could see it every day when he enters the office. It's there voluntarily, cause I can do anything on the second floor, quipped the president. He went on to explain his actions by saying that, as the first African American president, it might be appropriate to have a bust of Dr. Martin Luther King in my office, to remind me of all the hard work of a lot of people, who would somehow allow me to have the privilege of holding this office. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.